Hey, what's up guys, Eric here. I'm here on my early season archery deer hunt and I wanna give you guys some early season glassing tips for morning, midday, and also evening. But first, I wanna break down the equipment. In my opinion, you cannot glass effectively unless you're comfortable. So early season, you're gonna to wanna to have, some some, have some sort of good shade structure. Uh, this is just a little Rimrock hoodie. It's just enough and lightweight that it covers and shades the side of my face while I'm looking through here. If you don't, you, again, you gotta be comfortable so you can stay focused. So having the, the right early season or the right glassing clothes is important. That way you can stay behind the glass and stay focused. Now, obviously late season, you're gonna want something warmer so that you can stay behind the glass. Now next, be comfortable sitting too. You can't be sitting on bushes or sharp rocks. I got the Muley Freak Tri-Fold Glassing Pad. So this thing literally folds up like this. I run it on my backpack like this and strap it to the back of my backpack. And I just take it off. And sit down, sit down just like that. Now, I try to set up in a spot where I can see multiple ridges. I wanna be able to see down this draw, that draw. I wanna be able to see different fingers. I also wanna be able to see long distance and, my, and, and a mile or two miles out there. That way I can just cover a lot of ground first and, um, and fast, if that makes sense. Let's talk a little bit about the tripod setup. My glass, you know, kind of show my strategy there. So right here, I like to run 10 by 50s, uh, 10 by 42s, work too for archery hunting but 10 by 50s are a perfect medium in my opinion because you can see that longer stuff and as long as you have a good a tripod and anchor here you can hold it steady and you can see better than you can with 10 by 42s now this is just a black ovis high alpine tripod it's a tripod that's not going to work standing up it's it's more of a sitting based tripod so as long as you can get this over the brush you can quickly and efficiently move through check bushes, um, so on and so forth by just kinda going like this. Now the benefit of having this on a tripod is you're so steady that you can see antler tips moving through brush or uh, ears flickering. Uh, just the little subtle movements that you won't get doing the handheld stuff. That's why I like a good tripod. This thing weighs less than two pounds. These are 10 by 50s again. And this is just a little, um, I'm not even sure what this is, but this just goes in and out. I have a little anchor here. And that screws on just like so. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you, um, you, you wanna be looking in the right area. So early morning, the first thing I do is I scan free-handed through all the open, obvious, easy places to see. And I just freehand that. Boom, boom, boom. That way I move to that quick stuff. Now, once I determine if there's deer right there in that quick, in, in, in the open, I'll then move to like some of the finger ridges, some of the cuts, and some of the, some of the rolls uh, where timber starts to break, uh, where there's slight openings and ridge tops. So obvious stuff first, freehand it. Then I'll slowly move to openings, timber cuts, places where timber breaks, and skylines. That's where I move to next. So in the morning, I'm looking for certain types of uh, vegetation. Number one, I'm looking for sagebrush to make sure they're not out feeding in the wide open in the sagebrush. They like to feed in that wide open. Number two, they like the sarvisberry bushes. A lot of times you'll see them in the wide open next to these sarvisberry bushes, especially in the summertime, and they'll just be nibbling with their heads up on these bushes. They really like that stuff. And then number two, I look for this this green manzanita right here. I don't know if you can see this, but this brush is called manzanita brush. And they love this stuff. So they like to transition through here, they like to feed through here, and they feel comfortable in here. So those are the three piece, or the three uh, types of vegetation I'm looking for early season. Now, in the morning, once I find them and I, and I figure where they're gonna bed, I'll pull out base map, nav cam, I'll range the deer. Five hundred and thirty one yards. So I go ahead and type in five hundred and thirty one yards. Just hit set right here. 
mark. You can literally mark in, on a map within a degree right from your smartphone um, where that buck is. It's, it's absolutely incredible. This is absolutely a game changer when it comes to betting bucks. And it'll get you in right on the stock. Now it's up to you to execute. So midday stuff's a little bit different. In the midday, I'll kind of figure out based on my scouting where these deer are betting. And then I'll hit these spots and look under little crevices of shade and look for ears flickering, antler tips, or just noses or snouts, because that's all you're gonna see midday. If I see something, vinyls come off. A lot of times I'll just roll this in my pocket right here. Vinyls come off, go in my bino harness, and then I'll move the spotter in. And then I can be like, okay, yeah, I can see a deer bedded, I can see an ear flickering. There's a group of bucks. I got one buck. And then I'll start looking around and see if I can see multiple bucks in that particular spot. So now, sometimes you're not always gonna be able to see them in their beds. There's sometimes that they might bed so well that you don't see ears flickering, you don't see antler tips, and that's just the way it is. But to try to maximize your efficiency, your time in the field, you've gotta look at the bedding areas and, and where these animals bed, and a really good way to do it is with a spotter. Now, this is an 80 millimeter. I don't pack this big of a spotter in the back country, but when I'm bow hunting, especially bow hunting locally, I'll use this right here. So again, guys, these, these are my glassing tips for finding early season mule deer, a little bit of morning stuff, a little bit of midday stuff. And then, you know, obviously at night, uh, it's gonna be a lot like the morning. You're gonna watch coming out of the trees because they're gonna be standing up from their bedding areas, which is likely gonna be behind brush and trees. So again, at night, I'm glassing trees and you know you just throw the binos up however you want to do that either either anchor them down in your in your tripod or or freehand it depending on where you're at but start with the trees in the evening so stay comfortable have the right gear early season stuff have some shade try to get in some shade like this so you can stay focused be comfortable try full glassing pad again this is a game changer good harness good tripod good optics all right guys thanks for watching these are my early season mule deer glassing tips be sure to subscribe to this video watch other videos and leave a comment and share it with someone who needs some help glassing for mule deer we'll catch you guys on the next video